everyone, this is Shauna with OSP, and this is a first impressions on The Guilt in the Shadow. Now, I must admit, I have played through all of this already, but I'll kind of uh, go along with you on how I felt about it at the beginning, um, and kind of what to expect from it. This is an independent, in well, I guess that's what Indy stands for, a uh, puzzle narrative game uh, developed and published by... Frederico, oh forgive me, um, Frederico Machuca, Machusa, Macusa, um, M-A-C-H-U-C-A, um, not quite sure, uh, if I said that right, but, uh, this is a very deep, dark, slightly emotional game. Um, it's, it's highly based off of the narrative and story that's giving you, um, so yeah, with that, we shall begin. Unbearable. I can't stand the smell anymore. I feel the sweat of others in this couch. The boat. I need to find the boat. Enough. I'm getting out of here. You are so small. That fitted in the palm of my hand. Remember when you started walking? I do like the tutorial. It gives kind of like the beginning of the story while teaching you what you need to do. You always wanted to touch everything. Push, be strong. Always going up and down, every ladder. You dreamt, and told me, all the details. And your need to keep everything you found. In your dreams, there was always music. That weird instrument you got when you were seven years old. Played all day long, the same three songs. And then when you hit Q, W, or E, it comes back. Empty memories. Always these damned voices in our heads. Not gonna lie, it's, it's a creepy game. <laughs> You need to change, my darling. It's right from the beginning. It totally captured my interest. Um, I, me being a, an analyst, uh, a story analyst, I guess I should say. Uh, the Everything about what they did, um, especially in the first like 15 minutes or so, really caught my attention, really made me question things, because, oh, oh, it's glitching a little bit, uh-oh. Um, I'm not walking that way, actually. This It's doing it on its own. I'm trying to turn. Maybe it was just my keyboard. I think it was my keyboard. Uh, but I did notice the eye. Uh, that's a common theme, apparently. Find the exit. And the seed. Um. Really had no idea. Obviously you need to figure out how to... It's a puzzle game, so you have to figure out how, how to get the exit. Did not have a clue what the seed meant. Um, I was too intrigued by the eye following me. And the fact that 
him turning this direction is completely fine. When he looks this direction, his eye is smaller. Um, I don't know if that was just, like, I, I, I look way too hard into things sometimes, so I don't know if that was necessarily a thing or not. Um, he, it does zoom in eventually. Ooh, let's not go there. Uh, I don't have to hit the down arrow or anything. He just, when you walk, he'll do it for you. I was not a fan of that. There's something on the paper. The exit. Stone clock. Count the time. Okay, so... I had no idea what that meant, so I just decided to keep looking around. Um, the paper... I really like the paper. It gives you just enough of a hint. Um, this... It breaks my heart to see you lost like this. Flies, months, days, hours. God, that music though. I'm not a fan. I am a fan, but I'm not. Like it's it's creepy. So we have two, twenty seven, eighteen, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, two, six, two, seven, and fifty, sixty, yeah. Okay, so watch this when I turn this way his eye is either not there like I don't I don't know like that's his eye and then very small eye so it's really interesting that the these blocks that are in his way yet helpful to him have the cage of eyes I have no idea what that's about but that was really interesting to me um, I don't know where to go, so I'm just gonna... Whoop. No fall damage. Okay, so I think this is... Yeah, this should be the one where it just let me go to. I think I do this. I don't know. I try not to think too hard on puzzles because I tend to make things more complicated than they should be. And there we are. Oh, there's the stone clock. Yeah. So what was it? I hit space. So I can go two. Up one. Twenty. Twenty-five. So that's 30, so 29, 28, and that's 20, we should have 19 and 18. Oh wait, that was 27, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. Wasn't it? Wasn't it is not a phrase, wasn't is not a word. Don't let me fool you. Sweet, so now I can go to the top, correct? Oh, hi. Where did you come from? Now, see, I'm not a fan of things just appearing out of nowhere after I've already been there. Because that means that something had to have put it there. There's something on the paper. Yes, thank you. Back to the start. Woke up. 
find the seed. All right, so the seed is important. I'm gonna go ahead and think that it wants me to go back to the beginning. happened that day? Oh, that's somebody else asking, because the quotation is. I don't want to remember it. At some point you'll have to face these memories. But I don't want to. You face your own memories. Oh, we're mad. Let's change the subject. No, I'm tired of talking. <laughs> so... The first assumption is that he's just talking to himself. And that... I want to say that I thought this was a dream, but I couldn't really tell what was going on. Um, clearly he's in a therapist's office talking to them. I can't remember where to go, so I'm just kind of, yeah, let's just whoop, go to this one. Um, no, no, that's not it either. Ah, shoot. I'm not good with directional skills. Like, my directional skills are awful. Um, so he's in a therapist's office. He doesn't want to talk about something. Uh, and this is more so his escape from dealing with what his therapist wants to deal him with is my write-off assumption. I think that's everybody's assumption upon coming, um, upon f starting this game. Ah, I think this is the way out. Guys, I think I did it. All right. Home sweet home. So he did manage to escape. It'd be great to never have to leave here. Crap. There's mold everywhere. Ew. I don't see any mold. Remember, ah, I need to read my notes. <gasps> Excuse me. See, one eye is just like shrunken a little bit. I don't know. That's just me overanalyzing. But this is the second level. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Uh, but my first impressions were exactly that the artwork fits the music, fits the story, fits the theme of everything. Um, A little later on, the story gets more complex. Not necessarily complex, but more heavy. Um, you are led to believe several different things. Um, it's definitely one of those things that you don't want spoiled. So, my first assumptions ended up being right, so I'm not gonna give you my impression on the story because I don't want to uh, give away anything. But, I think, you know, the black and white, the the music, everything in this is perfect for this game. Um, I was creeped out. <laughs> and 
what other what other first impressions did I have? I thought that the mechanics for the puzzles were really interesting um, because they're not necessarily puzzles. It's just a way to get out. It's a complex system, um, and hopefully, I'll be able to like go into this and analyze the story a lot further in a different time and place. But as for a first impressions, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, I am Shauna with Only SP. If you enjoyed this, please uh, like, subscribe, and comment. And I hopefully will be able to see you guys later.